Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2. I'm Hunter Black Luna. And let's go ahead and start our first loyalty mission, everybody. Bye, Citadel. On the one hand, we got to meet Anderson again, and we recruited Kasumi. And on the other hand, the council. Ugh. At least we're specters again, so we can go around waving that in people's faces. I do so enjoy that. Remember how we couldn't travel out of the Widow Nebula before? Yeah, now we can go to Boltzmann. The DLC system to help Kasumi. Now, it might seem a little incongruous to uh, do someone's loyalty mission before even doing the recruitment missions for most of the team. Or anyone, really. But I've got good reasons. Several good reasons. First of all, on this mission, it's only you and Kasumi, you don't take a third party member along, so you lose out on less than if you do other missions without, like, a character you really like. And you also discover what may be the best SMG in the game during the mission, and if I have the Phalanx pistol and uh, the, I believe it's the Locust SMG, I'm pretty much set for the game. So it uh, sounds like a good place to me. Good place to start. Poor planet. Is there anything here worth my attention? Alright. I'll make this as quick as possible. For the sake of everyone, including myself. Alright. That's alright. It really is better to do a lot of it when you feel like it. I'm having real trouble with the mouse today, and I don't know... Let's try this. I'll put it on the table. No. Alright, that's good too. Also, I do kind of have the sensitivity for the mouse set to be really high. I don't know. What the fuck? Alright, I'm done with you. You can go through the asteroid or debris belt and just... Sometimes you'll find things, but eh. You can discover side quests on planets, but it's... It's a little more rare. A little more troublesome. Combine that to mean that we won't be seeing a ton of them. Oh, whatever. Launched. I guess it's kind of a blessing that these planets are poor. So we can pretty much ignore most of them. Alright, where's that mountain? There you go. Anything else to offer? Nothing that I care about. Moving on. Huh. Thooft. A dwarf planet. <laughs> we start on a mountain of resources. That's ah, fine with me. Probe. Probe away. There we go. Probe launched. I'm sorry that sometimes I don't have very insightful commentary to offer during the mining, guys. I mean, I've kind of already compared it to uh, the Mass Effect 1 system of actually landing on the planet. Which, now a lot of people are like, we'd rather land on the planet, but back then, people... non-stop bitching about the Mako. Which I didn't think was that bad. It was kind of funny to watch it bounce around into five physics. Any other? Yeah, we'll grab this and then we're done here. 
by... And if I miss a little deposit here or there, I honestly don't care. You. <laughs> Wheeler. Brooklyn Rage. Now the only question is... Even, you see, even, even on a poor planet, it can have a couple really huge mountains of resources. So it all depends. And a rich planet can have the resources all spread out in convenience. So you've really got to see with your scanners before you make any judgments. Like this planet, this planet's fantastic so far. Based on all the finds we're making. There we go. Still moderate. Probe. <laughs> Excuse me. We are almost through with this. Well, we're through with this particular rock. I don't know what the hell my deal is with the scanning today. Probably not the best time to go mining. Beckenstein, that's where we're going. The first wave of Earth's colonization efforts. The Human's Ilium, a place where new money tycoons flaunt their wealth, and have-nots are rarely spoken of. Oh, it's Space America. I'm gonna do a bit of scanning before we touch down. Ah, uh, it's depleted because it's a developed world. That doesn't necessarily mean there won't be anything there here for us, although that's probably what it means. Yeah, I know how to launch a probe. Frickin' tooltips. Alright, there's nothing on the entire planet I would justify the 100 credits for a probe. So, we're just gonna land and start our mission. This mission is kind of unlike every other loyalty mission, which I think doesn't make sense. It is DLC. And you do specifically pay for it. Unlike Zaid, who sh uh, ships with uh, the Cerberus Network. A lot of people got him free. Alright, Kasumi. I mentioned she stabs people in the back? She turns invisible, gets behind them somehow, and then stabs them in the back, knocking them over, doing massive damage. It's... It's quite lovely. Oh, we'll also purchase overload for you. Master Thief reduces your weapon reach, your power recharge time, although... Hmm, I don't think I like that. I think instead we'll take Overload and the third level of Shadow Strike. Enemies will be incapacitated for 7 seconds after getting stabbed. And the recharge time is only 9 seconds, so... You could really put the hurting on people here. Shep's leveled up already. Looking good, Miss Allison Gunn. Hawk won't be able to keep his eyes off you. I assume Allison Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Fair enough. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Take it I'm wearing this getup for a reason? You'd look really out of place at a society party in armor, don't you think? You look great. You should wear this stuff more often. <laughs> Kasumi. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just assumed that the camera followed Kasumi's gaze right there. Now is probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Mm -hmm. 
Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's Vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. This is a very... It's like a thriller novel, and it's... Like I said, it's a little different than the standard, Oh, go find people. Shoot a billion people. You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless, personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. All right. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Ms. Gunn. Hold a moment, ma'am. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? Yeah. No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Allison Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? I'm trying to identify Mr. Hawk's accent. You may pass through, Ms. Gunn. You were invited after all. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand the hope. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I can't blame him. What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. Great. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. Also, this mission is chock full of neat cutscenes. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. Alright, so time to check out the party. We get Paragon for not threatening to shoot Hawk in the face. How did you ever contain that situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam! Done. Thank goodness. I thought those rabble would dog you for years. Lovely. Remember, this is a hive of scum and villainy, even if it's really nicely dressed up. Sometimes you can listen in on some side conversations and stuff. Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. Well, at least they consider that positive. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the vault and figure out what we have to do. Alright. No problem. Like I said, I'm having trouble identifying Donovan Hawk's accent. Afrikaner? Scottish? Afro-Scottish? No clue. Just... If anyone does figure it out, go ahead and post a comment or something. I don't know. Let's avoid talking with him for the moment. Because he's kind of a rude guy. Check out the mansion. What's your read on that Archangel guy? He's making it too expensive to do business on Omega. Though I hear some mercs are coming together to deal with it. Archangel on Omega. Keep that in mind for later. He's some kind of vigilante dude. Whew! Now this is a hell of a view, guys. Okay, I'll admit it. I really want to own this house someday. I don't know how, but... Private Reams. No way we can sneak out of the party. Chief Rowe, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guard 
Mars Communications. I could probably use this information. Yeah, the tip is, uh, the key is to gather some clues and stuff. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. That looks like a military issue uniform. Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, who's his architect? This is a very impressive place. Or a very large one, at least. Well, the two are often related in people's minds. We pretty much made the circuit of the whole place. And down here is where we're looking for. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner. Looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's yeah. private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it, Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. Alright. And it's not wise to touch any of the things until we've figured out how to disable them. Kasumi, like, kind of follows you around, but once you get back into uh, populated areas, she uh, knows when to vanish. Kinetic Barrier Park here. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Well, bam. Follow the trail. And we'll find something we can incur violence upon to shut the system down. Dum -da dum. Fly casual. Oh ho. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. Nice. Barrier down. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Ms. Gunn, good to see you. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. I only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we I'm do. I'm sure you tell yourself that every night when you go to sleep. Get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Miss Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scanner. All right. Did you hear? Santiago took over that refinery on Zoria. He's such a shrewd businessman. The Blue Suns are lucky to have him. That relates to uh, another DLC character that we'll be picking up when we visit Omega. Jesus. Ready when you are. Righto. Mini game time. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Here 
Can't they come? Can't be back here. Whoa. Heron. Look at Nice. Overload up the wazoo. Ah, uh, I could pop tech armor, but I think I just want to warp. There. I have an idea. See what you can All find. Right. I found some money. Some meta gel. I need to remember that the tactical HUD is shift and not spacebar. That's gonna take a while to kill those old habits. Data pad. Have the problem too. The password for that night is Perugia. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped into their communications. Maybe it'll come in handy. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that cool. voice scanner. Nothing else here for us. And I do believe we have all the pieces. Oh right, we still need to get into Hawk's bedroom. Get his uh, DNA. Yeah, it's a little less unpleasant than it sounds. However, I've done this mission like most of the game before, so I'm a little more familiar with things, so I know where to go and whatnot. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose Bitch? authority? You're gonna get smacked. I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? They have access, Samuels. They'll stop bothering me. Got it. Sorry to bother you, ma'am. Okay, you're clear to go in. Enjoy yeah, the party. Can't blame a guy for a little bit of professional paranoia in his line of work. Oh. Oh, I didn't notice those guards before. You think they might see and take offense to us just like ransacking the bedroom, but hey. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Righto. It's clean. <laughs> it's a plant. There's some pretty chuckle-worthy stuff in this room. Data pad. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Hmm. No DNA, but looks like Hawk's been trying to crack KG's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked Glad the kitchen yet. Weapons. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Money. Oh yeah, this is totally related to, uh, protecting state secrets and stuff, don't you know? There we go. I'm getting better at this. Bit by bit. All this money will be very handy considering we were kind of low on it. <laughs> I don't think I want to hit the alarm clock if we're trying to be stealthy here. Found a sample? No, a credit shit. Nice. Definitely worth our time. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. That should do it. Alright. Let's get out of here. You can check the bed as well, and although the bed's cleaned regularly, so it's not that good. This room is amazing. I'll once again register my amazement with this whole house and Oh, I forgot the windows are are uh, opaque from the other side, probably like bulletproof and stuff. Beautiful view, and there's something 
moving out there like a huge ship. Uh, it's just a line of traffic. Anyway, now we've got all the security components. Let's go ahead and get moving. Do do Nothing out of order at all. That got it. The barrier's down. Password required. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. There you go. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Nice. Yep. Let's get going. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. Alright, now we can change our loadout, although we still have no reason to. Well, we could choose the worst pistol if we uh, particularly felt like it. Yeah, we both have the phalanx, so we're fine. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not that hard it's to find that. either. Jesus. Is that the real thing? Michelangelo's David. Just wow. Think we could get this out of the I don't drawer? know. I think someone would get suspicious. Don't think it'll fit in my pocket very well. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. What a cultured villain we have. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. <laughs> For good reason, yeah. I say. Medical station over there, but I'm pretty sure we're full. Metagel. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. Alright, and here we have the good stuff. There's the gray box. But you know what I'm actually more interested in? Casa Fabrications Locust. That's a Casa Locust. No. The Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrow these. This is Hell valuable. yeah. That's pretty much everything I'm worth here, so let's grab the gray box. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Gold. It's cold locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. 
I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like... No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut it up. Kill them! Yeah, I will... I will indulge in the opportunity to take a lot of renegade interrupts of that nature. Look, we're not gonna work things peacefully out with the monster. So it is pretty much time to rock and roll. There's Chief Ro and all the Goonies. I think it's time for Kasumi Shadow Strike, everybody. Okay. Eat Phalanx. Ow. God damn, I hate these guys. Put back on the tech armor, and we have equipped the Locust. Let's give it a try. God damn, I love this SMG. Keep working on cheat or whoever. Oh god. Enemy drones. I hate enemy drones. They are trying to encircle and flank us. Oh my god, I hate I hate the flashbang power more than anything. It's another DLC ability, so if you don't recognize it from your experiences with the game, that's why. God damn, the Locust is such a badass gun. Let's save our heavy weapon. Kasumi is automatically using her stab you in the fucking back ability, which is good. Alright, we've took out all the goonies. Now all our odds are looking a little nicer. Yeah, Chief Ro is an engineer. I'll save her though. Oh, you totally can. There we go, she's gonna do it on her own. Ow. Light him up! Checking blueprints. There's a landing pad to the east. Joker, bring the shuttle in! Now! Alright, let's gather up some ammo. I used a lot of ammo in that fight. Even though we have all sorts of powers available, I was too busy casting tech armor. Well, our cover's blown, so this looks like a decent place to stop for now. Thank you for watching. Let's play Mass Effect 2. Next time, we will make our glorious escape from the vault. I'll see you then.